I've piloted these drones all over the world. And I'm still haunted by five questions. If we care about the Earth, why are we cutting down millions of acres of irreplaceable Amazon rainforest and replacing it with cattle grazing fields? What you're looking at here was once pristine rainforest, a place unique in the world, so teeming with life that countless species are yet to be discovered. And what is this plot home to now? Those white dots are the few dozen cows grazing on it to help satisfy the world's desire for hamburgers. If we care about the earth, why are we breeding so many animals that a single farm can produce as much sewage as a medium-sized city, which can leach into local water supplies and fill the surrounding air with ammonia and nitrous oxide? I've met neighbors of farms like these who told me that when the wind was blowing in their direction, they would fall down in their own front yards, unable to breathe through the unbearable stench of raw sewage surrounding their homes. If we care about the earth, why are we using acres of precious land and gallons of water to grow years worth of crops and then feeding the crops to cows so that we can milk them? This one dairy farm holds thousands of cows and stretches over a mile from end to end but this is still just a tiny fraction of the cows used by the milk industry. If we care about the earth, why are we farming fish in massive tanks by the thousands and then depleting the oceans to feed many of them wild fish? If we care about the earth, why are we disregarding all of the other species on earth, keeping thousands of millions of intelligent, sensitive individuals under such relentless conditions that large numbers of them die at only a few weeks old, not to mention routinely abusing them simply for convenience, such as to make them walk faster onto the truck that will take them to slaughter. If we care about the earth, why not simply use the laws of supply and demand to change this? We each hold the power in our hands. Every time we sit down to eat, we are voting either to expand these practices or to reduce them and in so doing to stand up against the destruction of our planet.